the title of this video is Sukuna Return of the Dog. And Sukuna is like my favorite character, like 100%. I'm on, I'm on Sukuna. Pause. Then after this, Sukuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this fraud Kuna shit? Get this shit out my face. <laughs> what the fuck? CJ, the champ. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shibuya Trials, round two. And ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making, and it starts now. Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5, 8, weighing about 1. Should I have watched the first one? I think the only trials that I watched was Toji's, and that was hilarious. I wish I could have, like, reacted to it on here, but I didn't really think about it that much, you know? I was kind of like, oh, should I try this? Should I try this streaming I should have. I should have done it way, way back in the past. 180 pounds of your dog. Oh, yeah. oh, this is the dog! He is one of the most disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk the earth, and his ignorance knows no bound. He Ladies really is ignorant as King of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is. I ready really want to get him tatted, like right here. Time for the return of the like right dog. here. But without further ado, oh my god, I killed my voice doing that shit. Exhibit A. Oh yeah, spoilers, spoilers. Ryomen leave Sukuna, if you don't want no spoilers. A tyrant no in the Jujutsu world dated all the way back to a thousand years ago. Once a human turned into the king of curses. He was rumored to have four arms and two faces, and he was such a dog-ass nigga. They gave him the name Sukuna, but then he was defeated and not to return ever again. Until a 15-year-old boy decided to deep throw one of his fingers and let the dog off of the leash once again. And now we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exhibit A. The calm before the That's storm. That's diabolical. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past. And I said I would finish this off after the Shibuya incident. And now it's finally time. But since we have a new ranking system, we need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, because we about to speed run this home. Okay. I'm ready. Itadori is being attacked by a curse, so his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty ass, disgusting ass finger. Therefore, bringing <laughs> Sukuna back to the mortal plane <laughs> and audio. shotting a cursed spirit. But later on, Gojo pops up and sadly whoops his ass. He fully embarrasses bro, to be honest. Like, he, he literally sat on the nigga and Sukuna takes a L. Next, Sukuna fights a curse. What did he expect to? That man got so mad and he knew he was just one he finger was strong. Stomping on his face, ripping off his arm, then proceeds to use malevolent shrine and shish kebabs the nigga. Shortly after that, got his he decides back. to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the out of Megumi, a generational ass whooping if I have to say for myself. As he threw him, then proceeded to juggle his ass throughout the entire city hitting him with aerial after aerial then spiking him bro megami was already having you know like self-esteem issues and the fact that sakuna just like came out and molly whopped his ass i don't i have no idea how megami survived like when when sakuna just blasted him right here bro look hitting him with aerial after he blasted him through fucking five buildings or five walls aerial then spiking how did he live how did he live from that i get like if he would have hit yuji like that yuji was just built different bro like everyone always jokes about this man's domain expansion if he was if he had a domain and he popped it it would have been like what just hands just straight hands but you know what now nah, they got it on megami blasted this man through the walls and somehow still survives him through a f***ing hotel and finally violating yuji in his own body disrespecting him in his own body <laughs> then killing him and taking his body as hostage oh jesus christ yeah that and was I crazy almost forgot he made mojito shit his pants bro touched his soul and said don't you ever touch my soul ever again you dirty ass Little bitch. know your place trash <laughs> then damn near killed him and put 
blow on his knees and made him wallop in excruciating pain. And now we've caught up to the present. And with all the previous actions already added up from stage one, all I'ma just say is this man's final ranking is going to be f terrifying. We now move on to October 31st, 2018 on the gruesome night of the Shibuya incident. Mm. We will now be observing these two dumb ass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these Bro, two I would have never done that. Decide to shove Feeding one of him his like fingers 10 down fingers throat to try to get him to come out. What the f are you dumb ass hoes doing? Was it like, one? Seriously, did you think this plan was not gonna go south? But then Jungle comes sprinting down the hallway like, what the hell is going on here? Wait, wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my God, we won't tell you. Yeah, back the f up, f face. So Jogo decides to just burn him, walk over to Itadori's body, and pulls out 10 fingers, and he says, That's right, that's what it was. Go, little nigga. So go ahead and swallow all these up for me. And I ain't gonna lie, this is about to sound crazy, but Jogo shoves 10 oh, fingers oh, oh, oh. down this nigga's throat. Like, bruh, that shit is just nasty as f and this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. But How nah, he didn't so wake up after Joe the survived. first like So Joe goes about to burn him again. But right before he's about to do it again, he ends up realizing his arm is just wait a minute. gone. Where, where the f did my hair go? You have 0 0.01 seconds to get your dirty ass hands off of me. Those men <laughs> go back so fast as fuck. And these niggas is shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, girl. Oh my God. What did they, bro? What did they expect? They, they literally wanted that. They wanted Sukuna to pop up to bring back uh, Ghetto, right? What the fuck are they shaking for when they knew that was going to be the result? Bro, I wouldn't have messed with Sukuna at all. Like, if you know that you are not as strong as any of the other sorcerers and your basic ability is a cell phone, that's like some, that's like some Gen Z fucking abilities, bro. Like, I can take a picture. Like, Flash Flash Ninjutsu. Like, what the fuck? Using a damn phone. No, bro, if your ability is a phone, I'm out. I'm going to take a picture of Yuji. Walk the fuck out, bro. I ain't got no business being in there. Like, oh, Jesus, I think I'm What's her name? Mei Mei? Even she so was out of that. Walks over and tells him, those and bastard, on your knees now. And they dropped to their knees fast as hell. While bro threw an air blade at him. Nigga made him hit the cha-cha slide, bro. said, how low can you go? How low can you go down low? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop playing. So then he asked the girls first. <laughs> what the what the fuck y'all want? And this little girl is having a panic attack. She crying and she don't know what to say. And Sukuna in the background like, come on now, hurry up, ho, time's a wasted. So she ends up asking him to save Ghetto from a certain uh -huh. person yeah. controlling his body, which I'm not going to say because I do not know if the anime has revealed that yet. But you start seeing their backstory, bruh. And y'all know damn well what happens when you start oh, hearing yeah. some emotional last it's music over. with it's a up. damn backstory playing in it's the up. background. So Sukuna says, yeah, up. raise your heads. So they raise their heads. And then it's gone. Oh, takes this bitch. oh my god. Oh sweet Jesus. Oh, these hoes are stupid as shit. And the other girl screaming like, oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! And this man's suking the like, my god, shut the fuck up. So she tried to hit him with her. Don't make no demand. She like, I'm about to put you on Twitter and cancel your ass. But bro just slices off her frontal lobe and she gets put in a blender. Then after this, Sukuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this fraud Kuna shit? <laughs> Get this shit out my face. So then he turns to Jogo That's and asks, what though. you want? So Jogo says, well, um, to be honest, I just want to scrap with you. Uh huh? Well, you know, niggas been calling you a fraud Kuna lately. Okay, where the fuck did this shit come from? Twitter. So Sukuna ends up making a That's deal ahead of the man. time. That's ahead of the time. Him, if you land one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jogo ends up accepting the fight, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. Nigga, this was a generational ass whooping. Bro started beating the out of this nigga, chopping up his arms. Geto lied to him, punch, bro. Off his face. Geto straight up lied to him, telling him he was as strong as like, what, like eight fingers? I can't really remember how many fingers this puts Sukuna at, right? It's puts Sukuna at 14 fingers, right? But the the wager was if you can land a hit, I'll I'll work for you, right? I think that's what it was. And this motherfucker uh, didn't land didn't land didn't land anything. Oh, this man didn't land a thing, bro. It was sad. It was sad. Fingers then threw him across the city like a rag doll, then hammer fences his head through the ground. 
They only been fighting for like 20 seconds and bro's already knocked the f out. So Jogo goes full on crack that toa and just starts flooding <laughs> everything with red. Yo, that's Gotham where I remember that from. Like Crisis City right now. That's from SpongeBob. Tiptoeing back, dodging with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. But bro busts out of it, posing, thinking he's Jesus. So Jogo's like, he really do think he got. And Sukuna comes from the side and pause, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Whoever animated this little split second, nigga, you cooked. Mm -hmm. So bro slams him through the skyscraper and starts bouncing his ass. Basketball and Jogo's just floating in the air thinking regretting oh my everything. God, this nigga's not a fraud. Bump just palms his face and just starts slamming him through this damn skyscraper. Dear God, nigga, <laughs> the Patrick this audience. Just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just <laughs> f teeth missing and Ooh. everything. Man, Sukuna was talking hella shit. He said, wow. The, the moonlight, moonlight looks great. Yeah, you. yeah. It really shows how pussy you are. So then he ends up picking up his body and tells him. That's such you. a good scene right here, bro. Like, whoever animated this scene right here, I give you hella props. Because this shit was clean. I ain't gonna lie. It was clean. Like, look at it. Look at the way it's drawn, bro. His mouth. I get it. It was supposed to have, like, completely dropped. But. It was like currently healing. Like, you know, the curses can heal their shit like immediately. Like he just healed his fingers. But this look clean, bro. This looks so cool. You ain't shit. Now I'm gonna keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my god, I can't do this shit no more, nigga. So then Sukuna ends up doing some of the most pettiest shit. So this man skating backwards looking like Oh my god, yeah, Jogo he's skating on his meteor. dismantle, bro. Meanwhile, Kusakabe and Panda are trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out of the blast radius. But while they run and Sukuna comes in and stops them, and he got everybody shook. So he said, all right, English or Spanish? Play a game. Right here. <laughs> that was it right there. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly how it happened. Nah, this is just petty. Bro is really <laughs> out here just playing with his food. So Jogo thinks he hit him. But Sukuna's just literally over in the corner sitting crisscross applesauce. Bro basically said, Jesus, man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, Aim Labs is free, buddy. But tragically, it was over for Jogo. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into Katniss Everdeen. With we still don't know what that means, bro. High noon old Western standoff. Oh. And what's funny about this, they don't even show the shot. This instantly goes into Jogo's head, and he's talking to his dead friends like, Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. The allegations <laughs> were false. That nigga's no fraud. So then Sukuna's just looking at him from the back, and he tells him, Stand proud. You are a nigga. <laughs> He acknowledged me. And then it just cuts to Jogo's spreading corpse. I go lie, I feel bad for bro. Bro really got, got like a rally and bro. beaten to a pulp in his like, last damn. like five minutes of life. This shit should be a trial. Two. Exhibit A wrap up. Murder. Murder. Attempted <laughs> murder. Invasion of This is my favorite part. Attempted murder. 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 murder that was way more than murder bro Mass she was property damage yeah, yeah. exhibit b yeah all righty ladies and gentlemen it is now time for exhibit b and what might the be manga? the most outrageous exhibit b i've ever done collateral damage and after this is over you will clearly oh, understand oh wait maharaga maharaga right here is about to go through the fucking roof it is now time to observe the there fight we go. with Maharaga mm -hmm. and how Sukuna once again decided to play with his food. What the fuck? So they start fighting and Sukuna's already popping off on his ass, cutting him up and everything. But Sukuna would have got destroyed right there if he wasn't in Yuji's body, bro. Like he sat there. Maharaga was like, you know what? Take this motherfucking blade. Ain't no curse ever survived this motherfucker, right? And he went straight. If it would have connected, bro, because Sukuna put his arm out. If it would have went straight through his arm, through his forehead, bro. Oh, my God. The show would have been over. It would have been over in season two. But then they go fly. And this motherfucker walks out drinking a Diet Coke and just chopping on some popcorn. But bro is disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels. And he just eating the popcorn like, holy, this yeah, is that disgusting. Movie was ass. No salt, no butter for $15? Ugh. 
Must be from AMC. The world gets mad as hell. Yeah, you gotta bring your own popcorn. Bring your own treats. Bring your own snacks. Pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger in his hood. That ain't a finger, bro. That ain't no fucking finger. Then after Sukuna wins the clap, he wraps bro up and throws him into another building. The as we can see, Sukuna's whooping this thing's ass. Like, bro looks like he's just having fun. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to focus on the true meaning. Oh, God. His domain. Newsflash. His domain expansion. The true focus of this Here it comes. is the amount of innocent. Oh my god, I didn't realize they just showed the children life. too. Because oh my god. You know what? Pause this video right now and go get a calculator or open the fing app on your phone. Because we about to make this shit interactive as a bitch. We just gonna try to estimate and tally up how many people die in this fight. Starting off, boom! They go flying into this oh, room. Let's get the calculator. Yeah, One, dude. Two, three, they four, they four, went five, in six, on seven, this. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They all get sliced up, and Sukuna just blows up the room. 12 already dead blood stains everywhere and he's put my he didn't even on his care ass. and then this is how you can see that sukuna's just f***ing around this entire fight this nigga's just juggling his big ass with aerial he's, he's running on the air turns into tarzan and drop kicks him and with that single kick the damage that he just caused is unreal look at this it's a literal car avalanche going on right now and look at all these people in the frame i count 14 people in this frame and that is a poor innocent little girl hanging on to her mother and you know damn well they make it out that add 14 next this whole building God is falling damn, down and, and then they fucking hanging off there's about 15 people right there his ass and he falls off and I how many is that we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen yeah we got 16 people are just hanging from the screen there's at least 25 people on that roof and look at the building falling you know they did and there's like 100 people in the damn building really od so like 200 300 people in the building with a train and throws him all the way into this building and while he's on his ass the train couldn't have been empty either there's probably people in that train your building in half and just look at all these people bro Dead. bro just split this entire row of buildings that's at least 100 bodies bro and this is that's where we way more than 100 bro on a full scale maharaga threw a building at this man and he cut it into pieces while sitting on a traffic light and just started making the debris just rain while he's just taking a bow and enjoying the chaos look at this. dj might be a little this off but i'm already gonna is call it a plane? Thirty thousand people that died right in Shibuya. Now. And if that is what I think it is, a Boeing 737. There's already like capacity, three, two hundred people 200 on there. Bodies, bro. Yeah, exactly. There's already two hundred. Does this man, bro, said? And the entire city is being sliced up right now. And Sukuna's ready to end this. Bro's finally done playing with his food That's again. That's 30,000, so bro. up activating Malevolent Shrine. And before he even shoots, he <laughs> That's just my favorite at all these people, right there. bro. Just about to have a gruesome They don't even fate. know. They don't even know what's about to like, happen. Oh my god, girl. What is all that noise? Ugh, I don't know. She got angel wings there? on, too. She oh was just trying god, to go downtown, bro. bro. They dropped the GTA 6 trailer. Yes, bitch. But sadly, these girls ain't even get to watch the trailer. Sukuna uses Malevolent Shrine and just washes Maharaga. Everything just gets obliterated. Anybody in a 200 meter radius were just evaporated. And this nigga's just smiling like, oh, This is yes. crazy, bro. He straight up enjoyed that, bro. And then Sukuna finally finishes Maharaga off. Bro hit him with that. And what? Bro, we still don't even know what the f*** that is. What is the Fuga, bro? Like, I've been reading the manga, and I, I try to tell myself, don't read the manga, because cause you should you should just catch up with the anime. But I don't, bro, they, they said that the new anime is probably going to drop next year, right? It definitely ain't going to be winter this year, I don't think. But I can't wait that long. I can't wait that long. And we still don't even know what the Fuga is. This place off the map. Uh, I react to anything really, but mainly like anime, funny shit, you know? It is what it is. <clears throat> well, after Zukuna just, just here. A crater in the How you been, bro? Shit, I don't know. Oh, what kind of what kind of videos you like to this watch? This is near the Shibuya crossing. Maybe so, I like watching that. You know? Nigga, I'm just say a thousand bodies, bro. And then after this, Haruta's dumbass. Bro, that's he way survived, like, oh under, God, bro. It is not a thousand. Game. And just get split. <laughs> like, what time is it in Sweden right now? Really thought he was a main antagonist. So after this, Sukuna what continues time is it? to be petty. So in he Sweden? realizes, oh, sh I'm out of time. So to be just a complete asshole, he walks over to the crater and is like, yeah. 
This'll do. Let the little nigga see what I did. And swaps back out with Yuji and just traumatizes the kid. The He's fucked up for that breakdown. too, bro. And what the fuck? He's just laughing fuck? inside of his head like, enjoy it, kiddo. Now play that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, if you want, you can react to a Swedish rap. I have some suggestions for if you want. Yeah, throw them. G1, Octor is good. All right. I'm a, uh, there's literally only like, what? Uh, one minute left in this video. I'm going to check it out right after this. I'm going to pull it up after this. So this is incorrect, bro. This is incorrect right here. On screen, 1,359. That's cap. That is cap. There was already 200 people on a plane. He, Sukuna des destroyed like at least 100 buildings. And each building has to have at, you know, at least what? 300 people in it? Let's just go ahead and do 300 times 200. What is that? That's 60,000. Yeah, he definitely killed like 60,000 people. This shit is way off, bro. This shit is way off. Uh, I'd be like, it's alright, brother. I can wait. Oh, yeah, you good? You good? Um... Let's see. What was that song, though? I'm going to find it. Yeah, I'm going to find this shit. S and plus plus. And gentlemen, that completes the Shibuya Trials. It would have been way over S plus plus. Support on that last video, Ain't no I f***ing way. Man, so, Ain't no hey, way. Thank y'all so much, bro. And until we meet again in, like, I don't know, two weeks or some shit. I definitely got to watch that nigga. Doflamingo thing. Oh, yeah, subscribe. The f*** is that? Definitely subscribe to your boy D uh, CJ... The champ, that dude be made. He putting hella effort in his videos. All right, so what was that one song? 